Okay, uh, before we talk about the mole, I always like to talk about eggs and the unit dozen and how eggs in the unit dozen really are a great way to understand what the heck is going on with uh, the mole and how we can group together Avogadro's number of things. Uh, but first, I want you to check out this periodic table of eggs. Uh, we've got fish eggs, ostrich eggs, chicken eggs, dinosaur eggs, and clearly there are a bunch of other eggs that I just haven't filled in. Um, but, you know, some things to think about and to um, compare as you look at these different types of, of eggs. Obviously, uh, the different eggs all have uh, different masses. Uh, dinosaur eggs, of course, being the largest, and they've got these numerical values here to represent their respective um values in EMUs. Those are egg mass units. <laughs> Woo. So if we think about eggs, uh, when we go to the grocery store, H-E-B, to pick up some eggs, we don't pick them up as individual eggs. We pick them up as dozens. Um, and the reason why I pick them up as dozens is because it groups 12 of them uh, together. And grouping 12 eggs together is a lot easier to work with than working with individual eggs at a time. Um, but let's imagine we were at the grocery store and we had to pick up some eggs, uh, some important things to uh, just think about and to compare. I'm gonna do a dozen fish eggs and compare it to a dozen eggs. Uh, if I were looking at these two dozens, uh, they both have the same number of eggs. There's 12 fish eggs and 12 eggs. Uh, they're both the same number of dozens. There's one dozen here and there's one dozen here. Um, the difference though is in the mass. Uh, as you look at the mass of this one dozen fish eggs, there's only 10 grams worth of mass there. Whereas with the ostrich eggs, there's 2,500 grams. Um, and again, even though it's the same number of eggs and same number of dozens, the reason why this one has a larger mass is because each of the individual eggs are larger. Okay, another thing to think about is the mass values um, for these dozens of eggs. Uh, as you look, now we're working in units of grams per dozen. So for every dozen eggs that I group together, I get a certain mass value in grams, um, which is again, a lot easier and more practical for us to, uh, to work with as opposed to those units of EMU, which would be the mass is of those individual eggs, egg mass units. Uh, so just far more practical, although you should note that numerically, the masses in grams for every dozen is the same uh, as the masses in EMUs for each individual egg. Using this information, we can then figure out some and do a lot of awesome, thrilling calculations. For example, if I had uh, two dozen dinosaur eggs, I would have 10,000 grams of dinosaur eggs. Um, if I had, I don't know, uh, four dozen chicken eggs, I would have 4,000 grams of chicken eggs. Um, I would also have 48 chicken eggs. Um, all sorts of mathematical relationships that we could do. I could spend my entire day just messing with these eggs and having a great, great time. Uh, here's, a, here's a fun one. Oh, watch out, watch out. Now I have one and a half dozen. My mass value here isn't gonna be 20, no. It's going to be, fi it's going to be 15 grams because you only have one and a half. Um, and if you can understand this with eggs, like when you go to the grocery store, think to yourself, wow, one dozen is 12 eggs. You can understand the concept of a mole. Um, instead of using the periodic table of eggs, we're gonna use the periodic table of the elements. Um, and again, just like the periodic table of the eggs, uh, these individual uh, Masses represent masses in AMUs, but will also represent uh, the mass in grams of one mole of those individual elements. Okay, so let's look at a quick visual example to help us better understand the mole. Uh, just like a dozen groups together 12 things, a mole is gonna group together a set number of things, but it's not gonna group together 12, it's gonna group together a heck of a lot more because the things we're working with in chemistry are a heck of a lot smaller than eggs. 
Um, and that number that it's going to group together is Avogadro's number, or 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Now, just like with the eggs uh, that we worked with, uh, we have you know different kinds of atoms. And even though we've got one mole of each of these kinds of atoms uh, grouped together, uh, each of, even though we've got the same number of each of these atoms grouped together, they have different masses because the individual atoms themselves are different sizes. So if I were to compare one mole of carbon to one mole to one mole of sodium, I would note that they've got the same number of each particle, the same number of moles, but the mass of my one mole of sodium atoms is going to be much larger than the mass of my one mole of carbon atoms because the individual atoms of sodium are much larger. And just like uh, with the eggs, I can use my periodic table of the elements to compare different amounts of any individual element. If I were to do carbon, if one mole of carbon is roughly 12 grams, then two moles of carbon would be roughly 24 grams. Three moles would be roughly 36 grams, and so on and so 